Good morning. Happy Thursday. Welcome back to the morning meditation where it's my desire to bend our heart to God's word. And I try to do that in around five minutes or a little less. And so let's get into God's word this morning. Proverbs chapter 9 on this ninth day of July. And this is a shorter proverb and it's interesting. It's a it's a comparison. Uh, it seems to be a comparison between the way of wisdom versus the way of the fool. You know, one of the things you discover quickly in life is that there are all kinds of people in this world. And one person said it kind of humorously, but he said, if, if the other planets are inhabited, they are using the earth for their insane asylum. And there may be some truth in that, but the, the book of Proverbs is about different kinds of people and what they believe and what they do and how they interact with one another. So Proverbs 9 is comparing the wise person and the foolish person. And I just want to look uh, and and give you one thought about each one of them this morning. The wise person versus the fool. So the wise person, what I notice about them is they listen to instruction. Look at uh, verse 7 in Proverbs chapter 9. It says, He that reproveth a scorner getteth to himself shame. And he that rebuketh a wicked man getteth himself a blot. In other words, if you try to reprove a scorner, uh, they're going to shame you. They're going to uh, there's going to be a blot on your name. They do not take that well. In fact, the next verse says, "Reprove not a scorner, lest he hate thee." I mean, usually you reprove somebody like this, and they just have a hatred for you. However, it goes on to say, "Rebuke a wise man, and he will love thee." Notice the difference there. Uh, Verse 9, give instruction to a wise man, and he will be yet wiser. Teach a just man, and he will increase in learning. So a wise person learns and listens to instruction. I thought about uh, when I worked out at Lieber, and and, uh, we had a job to do down by the lake there. We we had chainsaws, and we were just cutting back some uh, some of those shrubs and and brush kind of stuff. Uh, nothing big but our boss came by before we started and he says make sure this is my one uh, command here my one request make sure you wear the chaps he was he was uh, interested in our safety and even though it didn't seem like a big job he said make sure you wear these and he pulled away and left and I remember one young man I was working with as soon as he got out of sight took the chaps off says I don't need these things uh, and it wasn't too long before he slipped and cut his leg and went to get to the, to the hospital to get stitches and a uh, very interesting day. But uh, that's a person that did not learn uh, from instruction. And, you know, a wise person uh, is going to pay attention to spoken word like that of the boss. And he's also going to pay attention to the written word of God. And so it's not enough just to have a study Bible. It's not enough just to have books on Christian living, but a wise person uh, is going to take that knowledge and become closer to Jesus Christ because they use it, they learn from it. Uh, And so we see that about uh, the wisdom, the the way of wisdom. However, there's the foolish way, and it's also talked about in Proverbs 9 and throughout the proverb. But you know, the word fool is a Latin word I found interesting. It's phallus, and it describes a person that is puffed has puffed up cheeks. In other words, it indicates a windbag, someone said. They're full of air and lacking substance. And so fools, uh, they they won't learn from instruction. In fact, Proverbs 1, 7 says, fools despise wisdom and instruction. So the problem with the fool is the opposite of the wise person. They It's not they have a low IQ, and it's not that they didn't have a chance for an education. It's a heart problem. They will not acknowledge the Lord. They will not submit to him. And so a fool does not listen to instruction. And in fact, in in Proverbs 15, it says, Folly is joy to this kind of a person, this fool that has no wisdom. In Proverbs 14, it says, You warn them about sin and they laugh at it. And so this morning, I just want you to consider and meditate on the the difference between a wise person who's teachable, meek, uh, humble, and listens to instruction versus a fool who's just full of air, but you cannot teach them. 
they won't learn not even from their father their father's instruction so let me ask you this morning which path are, are you on are you on the path of wisdom in this life or are you on the path of folly and the foolish man are you teachable will you listen to instruction uh, do you laugh at it and think it's a big joke so I hope you'll consider that this morning consider the the way of life between these two people represented here in Proverbs chapter 9 and I hope you have a great day and we'll see you back tomorrow